Hi there, my name is Katja. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Pilates Yoga Fusion for you. It's a really nice gentle routine to wind down, to slow down, to kind of anti-stress and that focuses mainly on your hips to help them feel nice and supple and hopefully that in turn will help your back as well feel really good. So I hope you enjoy this class. All you need is your mat and yourself. So let's get ready and we'll begin. So come and lie down onto your backs, please. You can always grab yourself a cushion if you like and put that underneath your head so that your neck is nice and comfortable. We'll have our legs bent, our feet about hip distance apart, and we can rest our hands either on our tummy or you might like resting your arms out to the side. Take a nice deep breath in here. And exhale, just making sure before we begin to move that you're nice and straight. Relaxing into the ground, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. Feel the belly, the ribs gently expand. And as you exhale, start to connect with the abdominals, flatten your tummy, and just adding a tiny little pelvic curl, rocking the tailbone up. Inhale, you relax and your pelvis back down. And exhale, your tummy muscles are starting to gently wake up and work. Your tailbone curls up. We're loosening into our lower spines. Inhale. And exhale, curl. Keep it really small for now. Inhale, releasing. And exhale, curling. Inhale, release. If it feels good, you may arch a little bit. Exhaling. Ribs are softening, shoulders relaxed. One last one here, inhale. And then exhale, curl. And then relax into a neutral position. Now let's try and see if we can make some small little circles with our pelvis. So what helps me is to imagine the numbers of a clock on my tummy. So you've got your number 6 at your pubic bone, your number 12 at your navel, and 3 and 9 on each of your hip bones. And so you're just visualizing that you're traveling along those numbers as you're circling your pelvis. It's pretty small. And just be mindful that your legs, they are moving a little bit, yes, but not too much. Keep them fairly still. Good. Give it a go the other direction. Usually the second wave feels maybe not quite as natural. So just see how it goes for you. You are using your abdominal still. You might hear a little bit of clicking perhaps. Fingers are starting to move. And then bring yourself all the way back to the center, neutral position, pelvis relaxed, lower back relaxed. You've got that tiny little space under your lower spine. Inhale. On your next exhale, if your mat allows you, slide your leg forwards, reach your right arm back. We're just going to stretch out nice and long. Inhale. And exhale, bring your arm and leg back in. Inhale in the center. Exhale, slide your left leg, left arm all the way back. Just a lovely long stretch and return yourself back to the center. Inhale, opposite arm and leg. Exhale, right leg, left arm. Reach it out, finding space, stretch it out and bring everything in. Inhale and exhale, other arm and leg, stretching out long. And bring yourself all the way in. Hug your knees in towards your chest for a moment. Maybe you'd like to open your knees slightly. Rock a little bit. Just give yourself a nice little movement here that feels good for your back, for your hips. You can move your legs a little bit perhaps. And then 
bring your feet all the way back down to the ground. So feet again, hip distance apart, pretty close towards your body, rest your arms next to you. Inhale, exhale, continuing with our pelvic curls now going into a high pelvic tilt, rolling your hips up. So now a little bit of strengthening for the muscles that attach to your hips, your glutes and your hamstrings. Inhale, holding it at the top and exhale, roll down. Think about lengthening your spine as you peel down vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, relax. Exhale, always starting with your abdominals, rolling slowly up. Feeling your legs strong. Pushing the floor away with your feet, breathe in and breathe out, roll yourself slowly all the way down, inhale in. This time as you exhale, take your right arm all the way back behind you, so just the right arm. Inhaling here, exhale, roll down, you're still nice and straight, but notice how that right side will get a little bit more length now as your arms reaching back, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll the hips back up again, ground your feet, knees in line with your toes. Inhale at the top. Exhale, peel down, right arm comes all the way back forwards onto the mat. Inhale as you right. Second side, exhale, roll up again, your left arm travels back. Stretch your fingertips back behind you. You can always have a little gaze towards your hips and see that you're nice and straight. Inhale, exhale, roll down, keep reaching your left arm and stretch it further back. Inhaling at the bottom and exhale, roll yourself back up again. Holding at the top, inhale. Exhale, peel down, left arm comes all the way back down. Inhaling. Last two, roll back up. Now symmetry, take both arms all the way back. Inhaling, ground through your feet. Let's keep those arms again, stretch them back as you roll your spine down, reaching that tailbone closer to your heels. Inhale, last one. Exhale, roll the pelvis back up. Keep it smooth, controlled. Inhaling. Exhale, peel down, float your arms all the way down next to you. Take a moment here, breathe in. And then breathe out, open your arms out wide to the side. Relax your arms and shoulders, inhale. Exhale, rock your knees to the right side. Pretty relaxed, just dropping your knees to the right. Stay here for a moment. Try and relax your back as much as you can. And then draw your knees all the way back. Use your abdominals to help bring your knees back. Inhale in the center and exhale over to the other side. Inhale, stay. And exhale here, one more inhale, exhale, use your tummy, bring your knees all the way back. From here, extend your left leg all the way down, hug your right knee in towards your chest. Gently using your hands, guide your leg and rock it a little bit side to side. Massaging that hip joint. And then we're going to open our right knee out to the right side, only as far as you're keeping your left side on the ground. And gently hug that right leg towards your right side shoulder, right side chest. The left side is reaching out. Return your right knee to the center, switch hands. And then crossing your leg just a little bit, we're looking maybe perhaps for a little bit of sensation of stretch on the outside of our right side buttock. Don't worry if you can't find it. So we're all a little bit different. Inhale. And exhale, come back. 
From here, bend your left leg, park your left foot on the floor. And then we'll still keep that right leg bent. We're going to lift up the right foot and hug the right thigh closer towards us. Open your right knee so it's now pointing more towards the floor next to you. You can stay here or you may reach your right hand to the inside of your right heel. And now you're holding on there, drawing your right thigh and knee down. Allow your left knee to open. Happy baby pose on your right side. Single leg. Let's take a moment here. Try and feel that you're even on your back, on your sacrum, on your pelvis. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly guide both legs back towards the center. Now stretch your right leg up, getting more into our hamstring and our calves now. Straightening your leg, show your hips are level, pointing and flexing your foot. Keep your shoulders down. You're definitely using the arms to gently stretch out your leg. Next time your foot is flexed, hold it. Release your hands down to the floor and slowly lower your leg down. Pretend you're pushing something away. Reach it out, reach it out. Once your leg is resting on the floor, you can give it a nice little shake and wobble. Left side, hug your left knee in towards you. Give it a nice little squeeze. And feel free to very gently rock a little bit side to side. Releasing into that hip, opening your knee out towards the left and hugging it in tight towards your left shoulder. Remember to not go so far that you start to roll off to the side, but to keep your right side grounded. One more inhale here. Exhale, bring your knee back. We're going to switch our hands and we're going to cross our leg just a little bit over. Right now, resist lifting your hip up. So keep that more or less down on the floor. One more inhale. Exhale. Bringing your knee back to the center. Bend your bottom leg. And then raise up your left foot. Your leg is still bent. Draw your left thigh and knee towards the left side a little bit more, as if you're trying to point your knee towards the floor. Stay here, or with your left hand, reach on the inside of your left leg towards your heel and drawing your left thigh down. Allow your right knee to open. Happy baby pose on your left side. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more inhale. Exhale. Slowly release, bring your legs back towards the center. And now we're holding the back of the left leg and stretch it up. Hold anywhere where you can feel a gentle stretch to your hamstring and calf. Point and flex and point your foot and flex. One more time, point and flex and point and flex. Hold it there. Let go of your legs. Slowly lower your leg all the way down to the ground and just gently shake out your leg. Bring your right leg back in again. This time keep your hands on the floor. Keep your leg in a soft bend position and then this time nice and easy. We're just going to do three circles with our leg. Finding that mobility in our hip joint whilst maintaining the body nice and steady and stable. And then go ahead and do three circles the other way. It's really easy, try and relax the leg so that we can move freely inside our hip joint. Then bending your left leg, cross your right ankle and park your leg over the left leg. Hips nice and level. Inhale here. On your next exhale, press into your left foot. Try and lift your hips up any amount. You do a little lift, you can go medium high, you can go all the way up. Hold it at the top and slowly roll yourself down. 
Inhaling at the bottom. Exhale, your left leg is your standing side. It's holding you, it's taking you up. We'll try and keep those hips nice and level. Squeeze your glutes. Feel a little bit of work in that right hip now and slowly come down. We have one more. And again, press yourself up. Good, let's see if we can stay up here. Now, next one, inhale, let your right hip drop a little bit to the right. As you exhale, lift your right hip back up so you're nice and straight again. Inhale, let your right hip drop a little bit. Exhale, lift. Give me one more, drop a little bit to the right, controlled, and lift it up. Stay here, or for a moment, reach your right leg up high. Up, 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 up. Then return and cross your ankle again. Slowly roll yourself all the way down. Open your arms back out into your T-shape. Inhale, exhale, with the legs still in this position, lean your knees over towards your right. Now, please do take care of your knees and of your backs. If anything doesn't feel good, you can always take your foot down and not have your leg crossed over. Inhale, exhale, come back. And then try and rock your knees over to the other side. So now we've got a stronger twist. Breathe in. And breathe out, softening and releasing. And bring yourself all the way back to the center. Stretch your right leg up again, flex your foot, lower your right leg all the way down. Imagine you're pushing something away. Relax your leg down to the ground. Brilliant, second side. Lift your left leg up. So soft bend in your leg, nice easy with your leg. Three circles with your leg. Mobilizing our hip joint. We are using our abdominals to try and keep the rest of the body nice and stable. Change direction. Keep breathing, natural breath. Find a way that works for you, that helps you with the movement. And then bending your right leg cross your left ankle. So the right foot is pretty close to you. Make sure your hips are nice and level. Inhale. Exhale, ground into your right foot to lift your hips up. So main thing is to get the hips level, your waists are nice and long. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale, come slowly down. Breathe in two more times. Exhale, push yourself up. Inhale. Exhale, come slowly down. Inhale. Exhale, up we go. Good, stay here. You can always bring your hands to your hips to just feel a little bit. Inhale, let the left hip just gently lower. Exhale, squeeze your left hip back up. Inhale, let your left hip come a little bit lower. Exhale, bring your pelvis back to square. One more, inhaling. And exhale, lift. Stay as you are, or you might like to extend your leg up into the sky. Lift, 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 lift. Bend your knee again, cross your ankle back over the thigh, and slowly come all the way down. Open your arms out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, lean with your knees over to your left. If you need to come out of the position, it doesn't feel good on your knee, your back, just take your foot down to the floor. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Inhaling. Exhale, draw the tummy in. Bring yourself back. And then rock your knees over to the other side. Breathing here. And breathe out. Inhale, exhale, lift yourself back up. Good, bring your arms next to your body, stretch your left leg up, flex your foot, lower your leg all the way down to the floor. Well done, slide your left foot in, roll yourself to the side and bring yourself all the way up to sitting please. 
bring the soles of the feet together. You choose if your feet are further away or closer to you and just allow your body to gently release forwards. Relax your head, relax your face, soften your eyes, jaw relaxed and roll yourself slowly up. Inhale, open your arms out to the side, sit up as tall as you can. From here, we're going to turn, I'm going to mirror image you. We're turning towards the right side. You're leaning onto your right sit bone. See if you can take your left leg, turn it in and take it behind you. Right hand comes down on the floor and then reach with your left arm diagonally across and stretch it out nice and long. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, bring yourself back, lift up your hand, moment of balance, and coming back to our starting point. Inhale, exhale, go to your left side, lean, right leg lifts, turn it in, your left hand comes down, you stretch your right arm across, reach, 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 and you bring everything back to the center, facing to your front. Inhale. Exhale to your right side, left leg goes back. Now here's a little extra movement that you can add if you wish so. See if you can lift your hips up and then reach your arm. That should feel really nice. Beautiful stretch to that left side. And then sit yourself down, bring yourself all the way back. Inhale, exhale to the other side. Lean onto your left hand. Right leg goes back. Optional, you may lift your hips up, up, up. Reach your arm, reach, 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 reach. And slowly bring yourself all the way back. Bring the soles of the feet together and repeat. Stretch one more time forwards over your legs, releasing it here. Roll yourself up. And we'll come into our hands and knees, please. So start with your hands further forwards and just to continue to loosen up our backs now, we'll make some really nice big circles. Good, I encourage you to close your eyes and to just really move in a way that feels good for your body right now in this moment. And then go the opposite way, breathing deeply in and out. Relax your shoulders, relax your head. So there are no wrongs, just enjoy the movement. And bringing yourself to the center, place your forearms down, elbows under your shoulders. You might want to bring your knees a little bit closer. Now we're going to get a little bit of a stretch into our toes as well. Tuck the toes under, inhale. And then exhale, press into your toes. Can you float your knees just a little bit off the ground? Good. Roll the abdominals in with your forearms. Push the floor away. Carefully, your head is not hanging down. Think about your head lengthening, being an extension of your spine. Holding it there. Release your knees down. Sit yourself all the way back into your child's pose. Breathe all the way into your back. And exhale here. Walk your hands over to the right side. Maybe the hips a little bit to the left. Beautiful stretch down the left side of your body now. And then walking your hands back through the center, over to your left side. Your hips maybe a little more to the right. Head between the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Return to the center. Rocking yourself forwards. Now your hands are coming right underneath your shoulders. Extend your right leg and stretch it out long. Inhale, exhale, bend your knee, head and knee coming close together. Inhale, extend the leg out long, reach. 
exhale, hug the knee in and extend, stretch it out long. One more time, bring the knee in and extend it out long. This time you're going to step your right foot around your right hand. Lift yourself up, take your left hand up in here, exhale with your tailbone reaching down, the front of the hip lifting, lean gently forwards and then add a mini side bend towards your right side. Finding that length in the front of your left hip, the left waist all the way through to the shoulder, the arm. Lifting yourself all the way up. Bring your hands back down to the floor and sweep your right leg all the way back. Good, let's go straight to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, stretch out your left leg. Stay right in the center of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, head and knee coming close together. Inhale, extend your leg, stretch it out long. Exhale, curl it in and reach it out. Crown of the head forward slightly up. Exhale, curl. Two more times. This time, can you step your left foot all the way forwards towards your left hand? Roll yourself up, lengthening your tailbone down. Take your right arm up. Lean gently forwards. Keep lifting the front of the right hip up and then add a mini side bend towards your left side. We are now getting a little bit more to the front of the hip. Abdominal supporting you. One more in here. Exhale, lift up, releasing your hands down. Step your left leg all the way back. From here, tuck the toes under, lift your hips up and back as high as you can. Encourage your heels to release down and also think about your heels stretching back as if your feet were getting bigger. Wonderful. From here, let's walk our feet about halfway forwards. Walk your hands in, bend your knees, hold your elbows and just allow your body to drape and release over your legs. Hold your elbows, release your hands and slowly start to roll yourself up. Press your feet down, draw your tummy in. Vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling up. Your head is the last to come up. Inhale, take a big stretch with your arms up. At the top, you're going to hook your thumbs and we're going to stretch up and over to the side, reaching out of your waist. Inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, up and over to the other side. Inhale, come back to the center. From here, draw your palms together and then take yourself into a gentle squat. You may open your feet a little bit wider so your feet are near the edges of the mat. Good. Now you can rest your elbows lightly onto your thighs. Stay here. Or a second option is to come all the way down to press your elbows against your thighs, your knees to draw your heart and chest forwards. Breathing here. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, to come out from here, simply reaching your hands down and stepping your legs back onto your hands and knees. Slowly lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Good. Coming into swings pose. Lengthening. Getting a little bit into our middle and upper back now. Drawing the chest forwards. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching your legs out nice and long. One more inhale. And exhale. Lie yourself all the way down. 
Now take your right arm and stretch it right out to the side. So long arm in line with your shoulder, your palm is facing down. Turn your head to your left side, prop up your left hand right in front of your face. And now start to roll yourself like a pencil onto your right side. You might like to take your left leg and reach it behind you. Breathe in, so it should feel really nice. Stretching out our chest, front of the shoulder. And a gentle twist as well. One more in here. Exhale, slowly roll yourself back onto your tummy. And let's do the same on the other side. Straighten out your left arm in line with your shoulder, palm facing down. Turn your head to the right. Prop up your right fingertips right in front of you. And then roll your whole body onto your left side. You could stay there or you might bend your top leg, the right leg, and reach it behind you. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can continue to breathe slowly and deeply. One more deep breath in. And then slowly roll yourself all the way back onto your tummy. Bringing your hands next to your chest. Push yourself up onto your hands and knees. And you just even out in our back. Sit back into child's pose one more time. Release. You choose where your arms are now. You can relax your arms. You can keep your arms stretched out long. Whichever you prefer. Great. And then roll yourself up. And come to sitting with your legs crossed. So if you have your left leg in first and then cross your right leg in front. Try and cross your shins so that your shins are parallel to the edge of your mat and slightly forwards as well, right? So don't tuck your feet in too close. From here, take a nice side stretch. Left arm comes up. We'll stretch up and over towards the right side. Your right hand is supporting you. Watch the shoulder, keep it down. Lift yourself all the way up in here. And then exhale, we're going to stretch out forwards to find one more lovely release for our hips and our lower backs. Stretching over your shins. Any amount, close your eyes. Release it here. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. Rolling yourself slowly up. Sitting up nice and tall. Take your hands behind you and we'll change the cross of our legs. So now your left chin is in front. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, take your right arm up. Exhale, left hand out to the side. Beautiful side stretch. Breathing into the side of your body. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, stretch forwards over your shins. Reach up nice and long out of your lower back. Then allow your head to release forwards, shoulders relaxed. Arms relaxed. Breathing into any tight areas. Visualize as if your breath could travel all the way down into those areas that are carrying resistance. And your breath is helping to release any tension away. Slowly, slowly, slowly roll yourself all the way up. Close your eyes for a moment. Sitting up tall. Just notice how you're feeling.
and gently opening your eyes. And we're closing our class today. Stretch your arms up. Exhale, draw your palms down. Bow your head to your heart. Thank you so much for making the time to practice today with me. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hope you practice with me again soon. Until then, bye for now. Thank you.